So my lab is unusual for our department in that it's entirely a dry lab. We don't do wet experiments with pipettes and isolating DNA from cells and things like that. Instead, our focus is on analyzing data and developing new methods to analyze that data, essentially all on the computer. And this sort of reflects my own training in physics and mathematics and statistics. And it's a really growing field in biology. Essentially, the techniques we have have gotten so powerful that we can gather immense amounts of data, be it DNA sequences or time-lapse movies of cells, um, images, almost any problem you can think of, there's now big data coming in. And the question in many cases is no longer how can we collect the data, but how can we analyze it and understand it and extract meaning from all these numbers. And that's where groups like mine really come into the forefront is that we're focused on developing new methods to analyze genomic data and learn about population history from those data, and then applying those methods to lots of different species, lots of different situations. And one of the things I think makes being in a computational lab so fun is that we have a lot of flexibility in that our tools are computers and we can use them for almost any problem we want. If we want to work on data from desert tortoises or orangutans or humans, it's really a very simple, there's no equipment we need to buy. There's no startup costs. We need to learn ourselves what is important about that organism and this new problem, but thus we can be very nimble. And I've had students work on all these different organisms. I've had students work on tumors. We can really span a huge range of biology because we have this flexibility of having the computational mindset that enables us to tackle lots and lots of different problems. And I think that's one of the greatest things about being in a dry lab as opposed to a wet lab.